has power as Southeast residents ignores government's order to comply with Namde Kanu's command. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, ordered residents to sit at home on Biafran Day and entire Southeast Nigeria came to a halt on Monday. Namde Kanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, had instructed five eastern states to remain at home on Monday, May 31st. Despite the rantings of all the state governors, the people chose to obey Kanu and stayed at home. All the major streets were deserted. Southeast states were like a ghost town on Monday because there is no vehicular movement and no trading. It will be recalled that the Southeast governors assured the people to come out and ignore Namde Kano's order. Meanwhile, the residents ignored the government's order as activities in many places like schools, banks, businesses, and other institutions that were closed. The residents were aware of the violence that has engulfed the Southeast in recent months. With bombings, assassination, and attacks on police officers, police stations, and INEC offices, among other things. Nobody needs to be told to stay away to save their lives, especially when trust in government has won. According to the gathering from multiple news sources, the majority of people in Omaria, Abia capital, and surrounding towns stayed at home, leaving the streets, especially the busy city area, was desolated. Government offices, schools, banks, shops, commercial centers, markets, malls, and plazas and gas stations were all shut down. Furthermore, private and commercial vehicles stayed off the roads, leaving the community deserted. The socio-economic activity was halted in Imo due to substantial security presence in major cities and towns, including the state capital of Oweri. Markets Roadsides, businesses, malls, and gas stations were closed, while neighborhoods near Oweri barricaded all exits to prevent invasion by strangers. Akachi, Okigwe, and Tiger Roads, Imo State University Junction, Control Junction, Airport Junction, Obiango, Ungo Opala, and Amakohia, Akwakume flyover and the World Bank Umuguma Junction all have heavy security presence. Residents of Oka Anambra State also followed the instructions, keeping hotels, restaurants, and markets closed throughout the city and nearby towns. In addition, despite the deployment of heavy security in the region, schools, Government offices and banks remain closed. Businesses and shops in Abakeleki, a boring state, remain shut down, bringing social and economic activities to a halt. People staying at home, paralyzing activity in the area. To protect students, lives were asked to stay at rest. The Alex Ekwemi Federal University Ndufu alike in Eboy cancelled all academic activities scheduled for Monday. Banks, businesses and other institutions were also closed. Social economic activities in Enugu were halted. According to the Nigerian news agency, all roads Marketplaces, bank schools, and government offices were shut down. 
filling stations, malls, and even hospitals, we are closed to the public. Um, you see, I love, I love what really happened during the sit at home order. I love it. You see, I am very, very proud of the Southeast people for what they did. At, at, at least, they have really proved to the Nigerian government that, yes, truly, this Biafran struggle is real. In fact, that they are ready to leave immediately the Republic is pronounced. This information is going round. It's going round. That is to tell you that the Biafrans own Nigeria and the Biafrans alone can influence the economy of the country. Look at what only that very day actually cost in the whole of Nigeria. Look at what that alone has cost the economy of Nigeria. <laughs> oh, who, who are those that are saying that the Southeast are nothing to Nigeria? Who are those people? Who are those people that are saying that the Southeast are no and are are, are, no, are, 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 no, are not important in the society or cannot influence the the, the, the GDP of of this country Nigeria? Who are those people? See, as far as I am concerned, the Southeasterners are the determinants the influencer of this country's economy, that this country's economy will boost on the positive side. It is the Southeastern House. See what that very day has cost to the economy. I know that the Nigerian government will be shedding a lot of tears. And they will now know that, yes, that the Southeast are truly ready for this pursuit of the Afran struggle. I said it before that very day that the Biafrans should come out and exercise this, uh, the, this, this, this very day so that they will know that Biafran is real and throw their support wherever they are. And, and they did. Kudos to all Biafrans. Kudos to all Igos. And kudos to all the people in the southeast. Let me hear from you from the house. I know what your own opinion concerning this may be. Don't forget to leave your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell button.